If we look at some examples of arrested root caries following ozone treatment, these are seven-year follow-up of patients treated by Eileen Lysen in the University of London for her PhD thesis from London. Eileen, in fact, is from uh, Ankara in Turkey. And now you see these lesions. Yes, they don't look wonderful, but the patient's very happy. The ozone has reversed the lesion. The seven-year follow-up, the ozone has reversed the lesion. Seven-year follow-up. But notice, these lesions were not very large when she treated them. If you treat a five millimeter deep lesion with ozone and don't remove the outer decay, you won't notice any difference. Ozone will easily treat one millimeter, sometimes up to two millimeters. But if you're aiming to treat one millimeter de depth of, of caries with ozone, you will have almost 100% success in your result. Don't try to do too much. And therefore, for the deep lesion, I would argue every practice should have ozone to treat those deep lesions overlying the pulp. Every practice should have ozone to reverse these superficial root caries lesions and avoid drilling and filling. These reversed within a month or two of her treating them, but they never decay again. A reversed root caries lesion never, ever decays again. We have followed these lesions up, they remain arrested. They are resistant to caries. These lesions will never, ever decay again. This is the best restorative material you could ever use by having ozone treatment of shallow lesions. This is a patient I was treating who had radiotherapy of his uh, for a squamous cell carcinoma. Unfortunately, he had terminal cancer, but he's got no saliva. And again, we see these shallow lesions. 40 seconds of treatment of ozone. I saw the patient one month later, and it's arrested. We look at the baseline again. 40 seconds treatment with ozone. And we look at it one month later, it's arrested. This is the best restorative material we could consider using for these patients. I also treated his center of incisor. We think in terms of, I mentioned earlier, deep caries lesions overlying the pulp. This patient presented to me a severe phobic and one who has severe sensitivity to hot, severe sensitivity to cold, she only came for the emergency visit because it was so painful. Even breathing in air was very painful. Radiographically, it's virtually an exposure. I've aimed to leave one millimeter of caries overlying the pulp. In fact, as you can see, I've more like I've left two millimeters of caries overlying the pulp. 40 seconds of ozone treatment, and normally, I would simply restore the cavity. I would not be going back in. This was for a research study. So I've simply put zinc oxide eugenol into the cavity. I brought the patient back in three months' time, took out only zinc oxide eugenol, and the floor is hard and shiny, as it is in every case, which is why we do not need to go back in because when you eliminate the microorganisms, it mineralizes from the tissue fluids from the pulp. Place a simple composite. And where would I have been if I had extended this cavity preparation the extra one or two millimeters? I would have exposed. This is dramatically reducing the need for root canal therapy. So please, please come in, there are seats in the back. Yes? Yes? What happened with these uh, fees, mostly in this case, is the part of the infected pulp because the caries is so deep? I believe if the, care, if the pulp is significantly infected already, you have to do root canal therapy. But at least you can do root canal therapy with ozone. Deciduous caries, 
uh, Professor Lucy and others have actually shown that you that would then publish this in the American Journal of Dentistry, that you can quite easily work through, around and reverse deciduous caries without the need for the operative intervention. We look at an example in this particular study, we look at actually that other tooth, we can see the remineralization, which once again has occurred. <coughs> Moving on to endodontics, just in summary first of all for caries, what I recommend for dental caries is for early root caries lesions, about a millimeter deep, ozone treat and preventive methods only. Lesions deeper than a millimeter remove the outer caries and then decide do you need a restoration ozone treat and if a restoration is needed, place the restoration definitively. Very deep caries lesions, of course, leave a millimeter over the pulp, ozone treat and restore. For endodontics, again, there's a whole load of devices available. This is the Helazone system that uses little tips that delivers the ozone gas in an equivalent of a size 40 file to the apical area of the tooth, as long as you've prepared it to a size 40. So you're delivering the ozone directly into the cavity. Biozonics have their tips that once again you can ozonize within the, the um, device and deliver the ozone again right down inside the root canal's morphology. And the ferrozone water, the ideal way to deliver that is to have an endo-ultrasonic device, about 30 different companies make them. They have separate water bottles into which you place ozonized water and you use the ultrasonically activated file with the irrigation in the root canal at the very end of the procedure. All the studies show that is a fantastic way to deliver the ozone in that method. Also, we're delivering with the uh, uh, helazone and with the biosonic system, again, the data is showing us that it is, ozone is the most powerful antimicrobial agent we could ever use, and therefore, as a result of that, it's giving us a phenomenally different success rate to our root canal therapies. So use your biosonic system, or your helazone system, or your therazone system, or combinations. I know dentists who own a helazone, a biosonics, and a therazone, because they use, there are different uses for each one. The biosonics, I believe, will treat the aphthas ulcers, the major aphthae, the herpes, labialis, better than any of the other ones. The helazone itself, the massive dose it delivers into caries, can treat the caries lesion, I think, better than the others. The therazone will do the ultrasonic scalar water, will do the dental unit waterline water, and will do the water for the root canal irrigation in the end of ultrasonic devices in such large quantities that it does that better. The ideal is to get each of those devices within your office. And what you're doing is radically improving the quality of dentistry you are providing. <coughs> Once those of you who have already been using ozone will realize this, it makes a revolution in your practice of dentistry. Everyone should be using ozone in dentistry today. As I say, there are over 100,000 dental practices around the world doing just that. With root canal preparation after ozone, you just have to look at the root canals to see what the result is like. It's phenomenal. You've got the most powerful oxidant available. It's the most powerful antimicrobial agent available. But not alone with those factors. Ozone blocks the nuclear factor Kappa B system, which is responsible for bone resorption. Ozone completely neutralizes endotoxins. Ozone completely neutralizes lipopolysaccharides. Ozone eliminates those toxins in the areas. And not alone does ozone disinfect in the canal system, but Nagaoshi has published in the Journal of Endodontics that it actually penetrates into the dentinal tubules and disinfects in the dentinal tubules as well. <coughs> 